Hey all here, OS Reviews. You're watching our hands-on review of the Aper Power Station. This is a product that will be launched on Kickstarter soon for around 150 bucks for the retail price. It might be a little lower at an early bird special, but it tries to be the most versatile and easy to carry around power station slash ultra power bank that has 150 watts, including a full-sized regular AC port. So you can plug in any standard appliance, whether that's a fan, whether that's a mini refrigerator, your laptop, MacBook, anything can be plugged in. In addition, it has regular USB ports. It supports a Qualcomm's Quick Charge 3.0 for smartphones and tablets, has a USB Type-C port. It even has that round car charger port. So there's a lot of ways to plug different types of things into this battery. The power station also claims to have rapid charging on its own. So you don't have to worry about waiting for you know, an entire day for it to be fully charged up. And you can just store it in your car, maybe for emergencies or just carry it with you when you're on the go with this collapsible handle that you see as part of its design. It weighs in at under 3.8 pounds and it also has a built-in LED flashlight as well for emergencies. Some example run times, it can provide a refrigerator that takes 18 watts 8 hours, it can charge a MacBook 2.5 times, it can charge an iPhone or an average smartphone 15 times, it can power a fan that's uh, operating at 20 watts 7 hours, and it can also uh, charge an LED lantern 28 times. What I like is the packaging is really colorful. Everything is orange and well accented. Inside of this internal compartment, we have the charger for the power station, which is proprietary and takes a round based port. And you get the same charger also for a car. So a quick size comparison. Here it is next to a power bank that's already considered really large. Uh, this one here by Zendir has 2,800 milliamp hours. Now on the other hand, it's also not the largest battery I've seen, nor is it a monster to carry around. It still is relatively easy to transport, especially with this built-in handle, which is one of its main selling points, because almost all of the other portable large power banks I've seen uh, don't have this feature built on end. The body is made out of a polycarbonate plastic. It feels quite sturdy. The front here does have an LED display that you can tap on once to bring to life. And there's an indicator for how much of the battery is remaining. Right now it's completely full, as well as which ports are being occupied. So none at the moment. There's also a temperature for if the battery is running hot, it will automatically shut down. And you can also long hold on the power key here to bring up the flashlight. So I can press on a few seconds and on the side here, you'll see that flashlight turn to life. I can also tap on the power key once when the flashlight is on to change it into the SOS mode and also a flap that's covering up the standard AC charging port. And then flipping it around, we have the charging port for the power station itself. Down below here, we have one for the car. In addition, we have the aforementioned three USB ports. The top here is supporting Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0, and then the three below offer 5 volt 2.1 amps, so still plenty powerful, even for iPads and larger devices. And then on the other side, we just have the Aper logo, and we have the handle, which can be collapsed when you're not actually carrying it around to uh, make it a bit more shallow. Time for a demo of the charging capabilities. So I've gone ahead and plugged in my Chromebook's laptop charger into the AC port here, and you can see that right now it is charging through the AC with that logo popped on. Time to add some additional devices. I've plugged in a cell phone here charging by USB, another kind of computer here charging by USB. It's the Lenovo Yoga Book. Why don't we charge a tablet using the Qualcomm Quick Charge port as well? There we go, and you can see that indeed the charging has started automatically. Uh, and this is a smart charger in the sense that it's not going to overheat, uh, you know, it's not going to overcharge your devices either. Once the battery reaches 100% on a particular port, it will shut off charging uh, automatically. Now, one thing I do want to point out is you can see the indicator here for showing you how much battery percentage is left is in a approximation of 20 percentage every single time. But I do wish it would be more precise and give us a specific percentage, uh, maybe 98% dropping down to, you know, 90%. So I can see that digit as opposed to the symbol, but overall it's still functional. One other thing that I do want to point out is of course this doesn't include a jump starter kit in the box. So it doesn't have that accessory with the clamps, the red and the black to attach onto your car battery. That could be a pretty useful accessory to have in my opinion, but I do understand that this is more meant as just a battery by itself that you can use to charge other devices with. 
Unsurprisingly, charging rate is also very good because it supports Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0. So if you are using the upper port here, it will charge up your smartphone or tablets in well under an hour, an hour and a half. The full-size AC port is more than powerful enough to handle a laptop. Even if you're working, you can still you know, be doing work on your lap while it's being plugged in and still work. Same thing goes with even a gaming laptop. So this is definitely not something that's really complicated to use. In fact, it's not anything that's uh, too technologically advanced. However, it combines excellent ergonomics and makes it a product that I'd say is a must have almost. I would suggest this almost to anyone who doesn't have a power bank that has a full sized AC port because it's a great backup tool. You can leave it in the house, it, you can put it on the car, it acts as a kind of emergency electrical outlet or generator of sorts that can get you at least a few extra hours or even for everyday use. I happen to have a work computer that doesn't have a very good battery life just because it has a more power intensive processor from Intel, a Core i series, uh, U series. So it takes up a lot of power and I'm often left with very short durations when on the go, but with something like this in my car, I have a much better peace of mind, providing a valuable two additional charge cycles that can give me, again, maybe five or six hours of additional runtime when I'm out. And that, again, full-size AC port is largely responsible for it just because smaller, regular power banks are simply lacking this port. So you can check out more details in the links down below and stay tuned for their campaign. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the April power station 150 watt power bank.